just by looking at age alone, he's going to die first. Every time we talk about this, my, my girlfriend, she'll cry. So, oh no. so I cannot talk about it. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to another episode of Men Explain. Now today's topic, I think I'm all too familiar with, and it's almost a bit of a follow-up from a previous episode that we had, Navigating Large Age Gaps. Please welcome our guest, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, everybody. clap for himself. <laughs> I clap for yeah. right, Hello, everybody. My name is Ryan, and I run a YouTube channel called Overkill. So t yeah. tell us more a bit about your new, your new work and your channel. We derived the term Overkill mm. from a, it's a production term mm. where we overdo things. Okay. Basically, like a simple IGS shoot, for okay. example, we will set up like lights, a lot of cameras, high end cameras. A lot of clients always like say, Oh, we always overkill the thing. Right. So we came up with the name overkill. overkill la. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh that's the whole basis of overkill. La. Is so, it still a thing? Like you still you still do so much yeah, setup yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's like uh simple, like they say, Oh, use phone Kennedy. Then yeah. we will bring all our high end cameras. Like, uh, yeah. Why? Like, I don't know, we got we got something like against the production quality. We want to like keep having a higher production quality. What's your star sign? I know I'll ask every uh, uh, of oh, our guests this. Uh, Leo. Oh, Leo. Yeah, Leo. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Both you and I are in the media industry. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know how it, it is like yes. to, you know, get into situations. Yes, yes. And pretty much, you know, cancel culture and everything. We're familiar with those things. Yes. We know the risk that we take when we take on a job like this. I do realize the risk, yes. but I feel like a lot of things is amplified or twisted for... Yes. Clickbait, la. of course. So it sucks to be misunderstood. People are so committed to misunderstand you, they yeah. don't want to hear your explanation. So yeah. I totally agree with you. Speaking from personal experience, yeah. you know, when you mess up or you do something wrong, yeah. there is no way in that point in time to tell your side yeah. of the story. No one is going to listen. The most you can do is say, I'm sorry, yeah. and just move on. But to me, it's like the most important thing is that, yeah. you know, your closest friends know you. Yeah, yeah your closest loved ones, your family, Correct. know who you are and what your story is, right? I, I, I come to a realization for that. La. This is the side of uh, celebrity or fame, right? That right. people don't see. So, yeah. I mean, they support you, they support you. Yeah. When you mess up, suddenly yeah, everyone's yeah, yeah, against yeah, you. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So so touching a little bit on that before we move on yeah. to the, the topic proper. Um, how are you now? Mentally, emotionally? Uh, much, 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 much better. I lost a lot of friends after the saga. A lot of new friends or even uh, my clients right, uh, was there for me, yeah. chat with me, talk to me, help me, support me. I just got a lot better after that long. Like, I, I start to see like, who are the- uh, Real friends. Yeah, who are the real friends. Very yeah. strangely, a lot of my clients turn into really close yeah. friends. Yeah. And I think that also is um, testament to maybe the brand you've built for yourself, yeah. maybe the relationships that you have built with yeah, your yeah, yeah. clients and stuff and they stand by you. Yeah, so yeah. in a sense, sometimes I feel like everything happens for a reason, I no guess, matter how good or yeah. bad. Yeah. the situation I, is. I'm still trying to find out the reason why all this ha is happening but <laughs> okay lah, I mean, it's for the better. I, I think I'm a lot happier now. Yeah, yeah I used to be really very uh, a sad person. <laughs> and a I, sad person? A okay. very sad person. Like, I, I just don't like to meet people, go out or do any interviews or podcasts or whatever. I'll just really just be in my own world. Yeah. So what made you say okay to us? <laughs> uh, I think it's a topic that I really want to remove the stigma around this topic. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, you know what? You've come to the perfect place yeah. because I myself have spoken about this many times. Okay, you right, know, right, right. I think the whole world knows about yeah. my age gap also right. between me and my partner and it's the stereotypes. seven years, right? It's actually 14. 14? Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, no judgment. This is no, a no judgment zone. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Yeah, but wow, 14. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. What is your age gap between you and Sherilyn, right? 11. It's 11. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. that's close enough. Yeah, yeah. Thereabouts. The biggest I know is 25. Yeah. Ah, happily yeah, okay. married. Wow. Very happily married. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So on that topic, now that we've segued very nicely yes, into yes. it and he reacted with no judgment at all <laughs> earlier on. <laughs> so what are your thoughts initially? Like, were you afraid to come out with that and say like, hey, you know, I'm dating someone so much younger? My initial thought was like, I realized after my very public divorce, uh, yeah. I realized that, okay, la, I mean, relationship is between two people. Yeah. I don't want to... Uh, really shout about it. La. I'm not going to deny it, but it's just that I don't need to constantly promote it because yeah. we, we don't know how it's going to turn out. Mm. Uh, nobody get married or uh, be in a relationship aiming to get breakup or divorce. Of course, yeah. Nobody does that. So I, I, I just wanted to be 
kept private lah. So uh, it wasn't really a point. I mean, of course, like I think the immediate barrier is of course her parents are our parents. Her parents, my parents, like were be concerned like, hey, this age gap, you sure or not? Were For, they? Were they? It's the same reaction I gave you. Okay. They, they, they're not against it. They're okay. not against they're it. They're just surprised. They're just surprised. My girlfriend always dated older men. I by far is the biggest age gap one. Yeah. So the parents was not say very surprised by the age gap, but more surprised that I'm a uh, divorce. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to touch on that as well. Yeah. So uh, likewise, yeah. my boyfriend was married before. Right, right, and yeah. he's also, you know, gone through a divorce right. and, and everything, yeah. you know, with, with kids as well. Yeah. As he has mentioned before, right. you know, in public platforms too. So, so that was definitely something I had to navigate. Right. And how, how do you deal with parents? I just straight up told them, okay, so I'm actually very close to my parents. Okay. I'm an only child. Right. And um, the day that I actually met, or rather the day that I told my dad about him, it was not planned. Because oh. I met my boyfriend on a cruise. Oh. This is a, this is a, you know what? Just go back to the previous <laughs> episode to find out the whole story, okay? Basically, we, we met there. It mm. was a work trip for me. And likewise, you know, mm. we kind of met in a very unconventional situation. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you disembark, right? Everybody walks off mm. the, the ship together mm -hmm. and then you go and get your car or whatever. My dad came to pick me up, ah, okay? okay? And uh, unintentionally, I think he waved to my dad. Like oh. awkwardly, he was like, because he was already kind of, we walked out, oh, right, right? Right, right, He like kind of waved and my dad was like, who's that? And I said, oh, some dude I met on the on this cruise. Yeah. Now. Then he was like, some dude. Uh. Hmm. So at the point of time, you like, you like him earlier? <laughs> hmm. We were talking a lot. Oh, talking yeah, a lot. We were talking yeah. a lot. I think right. there was an interest there. Okay. We exchanged numbers. Uh. Uh, we didn't exactly agree on going on a date or whatever. Uh, okay, okay. So he only asked me out like two weeks later or right, so. Right, right, right. I immediately told my dad, hey, you know what? Yes, I have been talking to this guy mm -hmm. and uh, he is much older though, but you know, he is someone that I'm exploring mm. possibly something with. Then how, how, how do you react? He was like, oh, okay, okay, you know, yeah, okay. He, he didn't ask too much yet. Oh, okay. But the moment I got back home and I opened my mouth, my mom was like, oh, so tell me everything. Like, what does he do? What does he do this? Ah. What does he do that? But I also let it ease in. Mm -hmm. But to me, I think it's important to tell them straight from the get-go, like, hey, you know, what I what I know. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that he's, he was married before. He mm -hmm. has this situation. I also want my parents and my family to be comfortable with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're actually very modern, forward-thinking. Ah, cool parents, cool parents. Cool okay. parents. So okay. they, they, they had no judgment whatsoever. Right, right, right. They just said, as long as you're happy and he can take care of you. Mm, yeah. Okay, yeah. Exactly yeah. what uh, her parents said. Yeah. As long as she's happy and I can take care of her. So yeah. now we are quite close. You and your and her family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're like, we will eat like dinners. We've yeah. uh, been trying to play mahjong together, but yes. I haven't tried, <laughs> haven't played. But yeah, we have like gatherings, birthdays and stuff like that. But right. you are also happy. Happy and, yeah, much happy, you know, much happy. Yeah. yeah, because I think in a relationship, right? I want to go home. Yes. To peace. Yes. I don't want to go home to fight another of war, course. fight, fight another battle. So, uh, she offers me that peace. Yeah. So you guys live together now. Uh pretty much. But oh. uh, she does go home once or twice a, a week lah. Mm. But yeah, pretty much she she stays with me. So how did that progress? You know, like from <laughs> the dating to okay. So I'm just gonna be straight up, right? Yeah. Because in our Asian culture. Yeah things it's can be a little bit more on, conservative. Yes, yeah, I know, I know. Or we're not married or what. Yeah, but yeah. I myself, I'm, yeah. I either live by myself in right. my own apartment or I stay with him as well. And yeah. then, you know, I right. link up with my family right, once right. or twice a week. Ah. So for you, like, did you think that there was some sort of um, judgment when it comes to that? Okay, this is not so much, but yeah. uh, of course her, her, her family. family initially thought an issue about right. this. Yeah. Uh, so they obviously like uh, every night were call. Where are you? Right, 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 uh, this right, right, are, this right. are thing, yeah. right? Yeah. So, uh, but after a while, gradually, they they came to my house also. They okay. had dinner. We had Chinese New Year gathering at my house. And I think they felt comfortable enough and trust me enough yeah. <laughs> to, to let her stay over. Right. It's just a natural transition. It wasn't like, uh, oh, finally approved type of thing. It's right. a, just a natural transition. Were they concerned though, due to the fact that, you know, this is a very public... Mm, relationship uh, and situation because I think you know correct. people of previous generations they right. might be like uh, yes, 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 yes. I don't know I yeah. think her parents are like your parents like yeah. they are pretty cool pretty and modern yeah. and understand our industry la. do not take words at face value yes. or 
headlines or gossips. So yeah. they're quite okay with that. I mean, uh, even since we are together, there were a couple of articles out there. Yes, I was going to ask that actually. So do you still remember what are some of those headlines that came out? Because I, I remember mine like clear as day. I only remember some of the very highlighted words, which is okay, like... let's go, uh, tell me. <laughs> uh, the 11-year age gap, okay. uh, divorcee, uh, uh, public, uh, still schooling, <laughs> this sort of thing. Oh, right, no. right. She, because she's uh, 23 this year. When we were together, we were uh, she was like 21. Obviously, you will get that type of headlines. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So those were the headlines. La. But that really didn't bother us as much as we thought. La. Yeah. It's just that the general stigma, like, ha, ah, see, sweet. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I, no, I, it's fine. You can say Chinese. You can say Chinese. I can say Chinese. Actually, I think it could be like the phase in life that they're yeah, in. For yeah. example, like because she was still schooling. Yeah. But like if the if age, she's thirty five, yeah, it's then okay, it's different. Yeah, like, it's different. Or if I'm a thirty year old dating yeah. uh, someone who's eleven years older, yeah. then it suddenly correct, isn't a correct, problem correct, anymore. Yeah. It's really the phase, I, right? I I don't understand why is this a stigma though. Like a relationship should have parameters or expectations set by the public uh, to see what's a good couple. Yeah. So yeah. by their standards, because I'm a divorcee, I must marry a divorcee or what, 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 what is it, right? What is yeah. it? What is these parameters that yeah. I have to live by? And the thing yeah. is, the thing is, it's so much more common than we think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, that I'm not saying that it's, I'm not normalizing it or whatever, yeah. but you know, a lot of people may not talk about it, yeah. but people actually go through, Correct. you know, divorce, they go through, and we've had guests before that come yeah. on board and tell us these things too. Yeah. And also even with, um, um, some of our previous guests is the other way around. Like, you know, a, a girl dating a much younger guy, mm, for mm, example. Mm, 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 mm. So these are just, you know, the public perception yeah, that, I mean, that they have. If it works, it works. If it clicks, yeah, it clicks. I, exactly. I, I I don't feel like parameters should be set. I, I still remember one of the headlines from when I first posted a photo uh, with Jeremy, right. my partner. Mm. This was years ago already. Mm -hmm. I was like 26 at the time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the headline went, 26-year-old... DJ, oh, yeah, yeah. Sonic Chu. Oh my god, I, you saw that? I saw that on Facebook. <laughs> um, da is dating 40 year old investment banker. And uh, that was like highlighted in block letters, yeah, like yeah, in yeah, the yeah. headline, right? Yeah. Obviously, that makes me look bad. Yeah, firstly, yeah. it makes me look like I'm a gold digger yeah. or something. And I was actually quite taken aback when I saw that. Uh, headline, right? Because the interview that I gave, and hey, you know what? Um, I actually love the person that wrote this 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 article. I have nothing uh, against her whatsoever. Like we actually that. have a good relationship, <laughs> okay. but okay. I have a feeling it was you know something that they wanted to drive up publicity or drama, right? right, right. right. Okay, so I understand. I yeah. get it. It attracts views. It, attract it attracts views. clicks yes, for yes. sure. I, yes, I heard yes. that article did very well. Uh, yes, yes. The thing is, as expected in forums and in oh, yeah. <coughs> never hardware zone. Forums, okay? never, never, Don't ever never. go to hardware zone, okay? That's where yeah. it's a black hole where everything yeah. goes to die sometimes. It's a toxic cesspool, uh, it if is I were to really, say. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, I went there yeah. And boom, like the comments, it yeah. was savage, no? It was br it's brutal. It was brutal. Like, yeah. oh my God, I got ripped a new butthole, yeah. like maybe five. That, like, that, that page is a block list, block, I know. block, block zone for me. Right? I know, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Ever since that incident, I, I stopped yeah, reading yeah, yeah, it. Because yeah. I, I know that every once in a while, I'll see things about myself yeah, on, yeah, of on course, Hardware Zone, yeah, you know, yeah. when, whenever there's a yeah. new picture article or whatever. But yeah. this one was where I drew the line. Because yeah. I was like, guys, you have no clue what is going on in my personal life. You have All no right. idea. I know that based on that headline, yeah. everyone's going to be like, wow, this girl, Goldie yeah. girl, she wants you to buy, buy her car, right? They she don't know the story, what? the process, and yeah. everything that goes between it. They only see the headlines and then they make an assumption and, exactly. uh, and be very judgmental about it. Exactly. And unfortunately, it's what I feel like uh, generally our, our local society, like our society, Can right? Be very critical. It's very critical. It's yeah. like they draw judgment so quickly. And it never, and it didn't end yeah. there. You know, it was like, it became a comparison between me and his previous relationship. Mm. Like, oh, what a downgrade from like, you oh, know, wow, someone yeah. of a, this profession to someone of this profession, which I don't know whether a lot of Singaporeans see media as uh, something not so prestigious, uh, I would yeah. say, or maybe they think we don't need much qualifications uh, to be where we are. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I see a lot of perception on that. They always think that, oh, uh, to be a media personality, you just need to have yeah. good looks. Uh. Or what do you do? <laughs> like, you just talk. Yeah, or, or, I, like, I, yeah, yeah. or you just be funny long. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, always, it's always like that. But 
it's not as simple as it seems. Mm. <laughs> so I would say that. Yeah. yeah but yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I just find our society is extremely judgmental. Yes. That's why I feel like I, I want to lend a voice to this particular topic because yes. it leads off to bigger things actually. For like sure. bigger issues. It's not just large uh, couple in general. There, there, there are other issues like being judgmental, jumping to conclusions really quick, saying things that you don't know whether it's true and then spreading shit in like yeah. forums. Wow. Yeah. All this really gets me very uh, riled up. I understand. <laughs> back then, uh, back then. Uh. But I now, now I like, it's like, I can't control it. Of then, course, you then, can't control it and you don't want to give do them do? the yeah. reaction that yeah. they are looking yeah. for. So all the more, I don't react. Lor. You yeah. can say you can say all you want, bug all you want, but I'm not the one getting tired. But okay, so mentally, <laughs> yeah. where did that put you in that point in time? It spiraled out of control because there was another saga and the yes. saga took the spotlight. Not yes. so much about that. I think like so many things is going on, right? Of yeah. course, the the I think the saga take more mm. uh, hate space yeah. and bandwidth uh, yeah. of me. La. So yeah. that didn't really impact me because it, it started with that and then uh, it blew up by the other saga. So yeah. most of the attention will be there. Not so much about large age. Yeah. yeah. It's just more of like, generally like when I meet new people, new clients, new friends and all that, they will be taken aback. Especially, she looks very young. Okay. She looks younger I mean, than- she the, is young. Yeah, she, no, <laughs> yeah. she looks younger than- Oh, than history. her age. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. She looks okay. much younger than her age. So people were- May, may say, judge. Uh, you know, on that note, just to also add on, yeah. you know, TikTok can be a very savage ah, place yes, in yes, the yes, comment yes. section as yeah. well. And yeah. uh, I once posted like a video with me and my, my partner. It was uh -huh. just something funny. It was uh -huh. something fun. And some comments started coming in. He was oh, like, oh, so, I know, I know, I know. I was like, <laughs> oh, so sweet to see you and your dad like doing TikTok oh, together. That kind damn. of thing. I was like, <sighs> There's no winning here. <laughs> There's no winning. There's like, no, there's no you, don't even, you don't even want to argue. <laughs> forget yeah. it. Like, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. forget it. He doesn't yeah. even look that I, 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 I have that type of comments also. Right. Oh, oh, I, like, she always get that type of comments like saying that I'm her sugar daddy and all. Yes. But yes. little did she, they know that I'm even more broke than her. So. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, but the relationship is far from that. In fact, uh, of all my relationships, relationships that i ever been to, yeah. right, I'm always like the, what I would call like, the breadwinner, like okay. I treat, uh, yeah. I treat all oh, movies, oh, yeah. right. and I'm not doing so well uh, financially after the saga, right? The situation. She, yeah. she will bear half the cost or she oh. even treat me sometimes, like on her own accord. That's and very I, nice, yeah. I felt very out of place because like all my life I've been, I've been you taking care. You've the person, yeah, yeah. you know, like getting the bill, yeah, 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 yeah. The like auto yeah, one, but yeah. she will like go quietly, go pay the bill or what. So yeah, nice. yeah. So she, she doesn't like take it for granted. And the thing yeah. is that just proves that age isn't just, you know, age is just yeah. but a number because yeah. the mental maturity could right. be very different. Yeah, yeah. So what, what are some differences that you notice? Because is, is this the first relationship with such a big, big age gap? Yes, right? You mentioned? Yes, okay. <laughs> of course. So yeah. are there some major differences that you can pick out like between dating someone closer to your age and someone with a larger age gap? Mm, when it's closer to my age, right? Yeah. What I feel like things start to get competitive sometimes. Really? Yeah. In what way? Like compare, la, like whose career is doing better or that. that I mean, right? it, it's like unconsciously. La. I even dated older. Ah, I, I got dated older? older. Three years older than me. Then, gonna mansplain. Oh. Yeah. All day. All <laughs> That's day, why he's yeah. on the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's not so much about the age thing, yeah. but her personality is a little bit more feminine, more yeah. demure, more sweet. Yeah. I guess like it's more supportive. I used to date like people with uh, a lot of ambition, career women, driven, right. strong, uh, this type. Right? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. There's really nothing wrong with that. But I just come to realize that when it crosses a uh, unhealthy competition, uh, like it's very stressful to go home to. Right. Yeah. So it's not so much about her age, but more of she just lets me go home to a century, you know. Like yeah. I feel no judgment there. I feel like uh, I, I I don't have to explain what I do today. Where am I heading in my life? What direction? I just go back and rest. Yeah. I just do what I want, watch TV. <laughs> that sounds like yeah. a every man's dream. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, honest. I look forward to go home. I don't oh. try to avoid uh uh going home. I used to avoid going home. So right. it's time to can address one of the rumor that. Uh, okay, please yeah, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, this so, is an open platform. Uh, I think my ex-wife mentioned that uh, I always drive uh, girls back. But the thing is, I drive everybody back. I drive a lot of my stuff back, guys or girls. Reason being, right, uh, sometimes when they gonna scold at work, they cry at work, oh. I fetch them back to make them feel better, comfort them. Right. I normally, like, last one to go back. Like, in my car, like, there will be three people. Then okay. I will go to 
drop drop by. Tampani, Spasso yeah. reason like that. So, uh, go guy and girl. I don't know how she interpreted it. Yeah, yeah. but I I do that to chat with them and also to sort some sort of escaping from home. Okay. I don't want to go home and fight another war. So it it is kind of is like a support both ways. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because you as also a yeah, boss or yeah, a co partner yeah. right at the time you want to raise the morale yeah, or maybe yeah, yeah. you want to check in on, yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, it so it's also... So it's the best time yeah. to talk. Yeah, yeah, in a car, you're exactly. private, comfort them. Hopefully, they don't quit their job. <laughs> no, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was, you know, definitely something yeah. difficult that you went through at the point, especially when yeah. you feel helpless yeah. and you feel like you don't have a voice Correct. to... And anything that you say, you're yeah. still going to be villainized. Cor- yeah, <laughs> exactly. Them. Yeah, even you know? these might, might be villainized, but you know what? Yeah, I, you at this point, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> just say what you want, believe what you want. If you want to stay committed to misunderstand, then just stay committed. I mean, going back to the topic, is like, do you have any key differences from yeah. the other guys Previous that you Previous relationships. Yeah, yeah okay, so... 14 years. Eh. I know, right, I know. Right. Yeah, thanks for reminding no, no, me. No, right okay. <laughs> no judging. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> no, so I've always dated older. My very first boyfriend was, we had a three-year gap. Mm-hmm. So that wasn't so bad. I was, mm-hmm. you know, year one poly, he was in his final year. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like really cool because he drives, you know, right, like right, all right, my, right. he got tattooed and my friends were like, wow, badass, you're like, badass. yeah, very badass, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. yeah. Um, by the way, hey, what's up if you're watching? <laughs> <laughs> So I've always dated older uh-huh. and um, no particular reason at that point in time of my life. Mm. I think it was just like, I didn't quite click or feel that kind of wavelength connection with the guys my age. Uh. I'm not sure why, because okay, you mentioned something about like, you know, ambitious, career driven. like yeah. blah, blah. So I am kind of like that person. Right, 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 right. I am always thinking about what's going to be happening right, in my right. career or my life yeah. like in a year or two. Yeah. Um, I may not always plan mm. but I know where I want to go. Mm-hmm. Like, and Your can, general direction. My you general know where direction you want, yeah. and I can you know visualize where I want to be right. especially my career mm-hmm. and I've mentioned this also a lot of times in other interviews I do prioritize my work my career and that oh, also yes, yes, yes. that also was a cause for a lot of my relationships breaking down right, at right, some right. point because yeah. I would prioritize that over spending time with this person. Mm, you know? I'm guilty and of that also. Exactly. Right. But the thing is, the thing is, it is possible to find someone who can appreciate that mm-hmm. and who can balance you out. Mm-hmm. And I've dated many people across the... Okay, not, not to sound like I'm a serial dater, but mm. I did date, I dated quite a number of people throughout this career that right. I've pursued over the past, what, like eight years or so mm. now. For some of them, it's hard to comprehend what my priorities are uh, yes, 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 at yes, that yes. point. Especially if they are outside the industry. Exactly. They, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's an issue also. I yeah. Yeah. So there's good and bad with people who are outside of the industry. Mm. Some of them, they don't get it. Yes, they don't yes, understand. Yes, 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 How yes, are you yes. going to stay out so late event? What yeah. are you doing? What are you doing? Drinking, right? Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> what are you doing? But actually, there's so much networking involved. Yes, yes, you know? yes. And of course, we have to know our boundaries when we're you know, out. And it mm. doesn't mean like, oh, every party is a work-related mm. thing. If it's just a party, mm. you know, please come along. Yeah. But I also came across some partners who did not enjoy that. Mm-mm. You know, they don't enjoy the socializing. Right, they right, don't right. enjoy the industry, that right, kind of right, thing. Right. So generally, those would not work out because we then become like not a part of each other's lives. Mm-mm. Then you lead like two separate yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? I, 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 get, I get that, I get that. Because uh, before this uh, relationship, yeah. I was in a very short one. Yeah. And she was outside of the industry. Okay. Wow, cannot completely uh, outside. Yeah, completely okay. outside. Then really don't understand. Because right. uh okay, I think in this industry we have a lot of friendships or colleagues of all genders. Yes, yes, right? yes. And yeah. it, more apparent in this industry. Mm-hmm. So the girl that I was dating, yep. uh, she did not quite understand. Right? Yeah. Like why why I got female friends? Why yeah. am I traveling with my yeah. female colleagues <laughs> yes. and all the things? Yes. Yeah, but it is it, is and what type of persona we take on when we are in front of camera. Because in front of camera, I think as authentic as we want to be, sometimes we have to play it up a bit. Play it up a bit yes. to become more interesting, yeah. to be more entertaining. It's a, it's a persona that we take on. Yeah. But it's not to say that we are not authentic, it's just a, a more hype version. I understand example. what you yeah. mean. Like and, yeah. and at the point also on that on that note, right? Yeah. When I got paired up with Jokim, 
you know, um, oh, yeah. I think it was a lot of listeners were like, hey, we ship you, we ship yeah, you. Yeah, Even yeah. till this day, yeah. people are commenting on TikTok and right. say, just marriage out already, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. And if my partner were any less mature. Yeah, or uh, insecure ex- or possessive. Or exactly. That is, is, yeah, jala, jala, like, basically jala jala already. <laughs> like, it will yeah, cause yeah. another whole yeah, yeah. like argument yeah, yeah, yeah. and you might be fighting about this all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. Right? Then you're fighting a war, lah, every yeah. time you go home. So, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, so there, there is good and bad. Like what I appreciate about my current partner is that even though he's so far removed from mm. my industry mm. um, you know in the initial phase yeah we did fight a little bit about it mm-hmm. because he was not sure and mm. he's never dated someone in such an industry uh, before right, right. he's always dated people in his own you know mm. finance circle mm. most of the time and he was always wondering hey you meet all these like handsome guys mm. these actors good looking you all travel together you all film that, together that is a common yeah, question yeah, yeah, asked yeah, to yeah, me yeah. also yeah, they're like yeah. anything happen not when yeah. you all like travel like actually really we just film and go to sleep yeah, yeah, yeah. like we're yeah. so exhausted I like, think we don't talk about personal things sometimes I think it's because in this industry you're surrounded by so many good looking people right yeah. you're very desanitized already. yeah <laughs> okay yeah, yeah yeah I mean we know we acknowledge they are good looking or what but I, I mean I've been in this industry for 10 11 years yes but seen all, all kinds all kinds like, like it's very desanitizing it's just a person to me you know? yeah yeah but yeah. i think that is something that uh people outside the industry might find it very hard to believe yeah in a sense i don't know lah. maybe for me lah, there's no temptation lah. yeah <laughs> because yeah. i don't know it's just i'm so desanitized yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah like the hottest girl could be yeah, yeah it's really really like, very desanitized like, okay can you stand there and yeah, shoot yeah. this scene please yeah. <laughs> like, imagine as okay because i'm a cinematographer yeah. so i shoot through the lens, right? Yes. I see my uh, female talents when they dress sexily or yeah. what, right? I do like music video or what, then yeah. there, there's like, angles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see a lot and then I go back and edit and I see for hours and hours and hours <laughs> and hours. So I'm very desanitized already. Not, okay. yeah, like really, Nothing can shake you. Nothing can shake sure you. Sure not. Okay. Yeah, it's really just blank. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to read out a couple of uh, pointers here. Sure, sure, sure. So, you know, different people have different ways of seeing what age gap is. Mm. I'm going to read out a couple that, mm. you know, could be very common mm. in conversations mm. and see whether you agree, okay? Mm. So, um, it's calculated based on the year that you were born. Mm. Do you agree with that? Like, do you look at the, oh, is, does your IC start I mean, with T? That's, <laughs> like, the, that's, that's the most straightforward <laughs> way yeah, yeah, of yeah. looking at it. Yeah. So, uh, I guess... Yeah, that's one way to look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes if you say that, it sticks in your mind, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember initially when I started dating uh, Jeremy, like, yeah. you know, sometimes introducing me to friends mm-hmm. that I've never met before. Mm-hmm. Most of them are born in a certain, you know, year. And mm. then when you find like out I'm a 90s kid, mm-hmm. they're like, you're, in, you're born uh, in that. Uh, and they're like shook, right? right, right they're right, just right. like shook for right. like a while. My one with her is, I'm 88, yeah. she's 99. Yeah. So, okay lah, it doesn't... Look that bad? <laughs> yeah, you haven't reached the... The T. Yeah, the tea. haven't just reached that. one year yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, just one year away. A few months away. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I know that we talked about this psychological. Yeah. So, it could be... Um, mental age. Mental like, maturity. Yeah. Yeah. You agree with that? That That is definitely something you look at? Yeah. She does uh, behave and think much older than... Her age. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The paradox or the irony yeah. is that she looks extremely young yeah. and cutesy, right? Yeah. But she's she's rather mature. Yeah. Like how she take care of her family. That's or, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Or, or how she plan her finances. Oh. She, when I met her at 21 years old, right, I've never seen a 21 years old save so much money. Oh my god! Like, I'm not going to say how much, but it's like insane amount. Of, oh, really? Yeah, like all her jobs, her uh, Instagram jobs, yeah, yeah, events. Yeah. She tenor, saves. She saves and she invests. What? It, and it is, to be honest, quite a I've seen a month for 21 years old. Like, and, and, and she started working like as young as when she was 14, 15. Her maturity in that sense, like, what, she like planned ahead. Actually, yeah. I think that this is not uncommon amongst the younger generation. Like Nowadays, the maybe not. Because they're exposed to so much information yeah. online, which we may not have been Correct. exposed to when yeah. we were studying. Because, dude, when I was 21, whatever I money know. I had, butter factory, yeah. yo, you know what? <laughs> Let's open a bottle. <laughs> I mean, I work with a lot of younger yes. generations, uh, 21, yeah. 22, but I've not seen someone of her level. Yeah. That's why yeah. I feel like she she has the responsibility. She she, yeah. she take accountability for the the things that she plans. So I appreciate that. Like, and you lot. respect that too. I really respect yeah. that a lot. Yeah. Basically, she also helps out with the finances like you mentioned earlier she, on. She, uh, yeah, in a very small way. Like, yeah. I, I, I try not to... After my very public divorce, I try yeah. not to like uh, work with her in any way. I see. Yeah, okay. Like I really avoid that. That like don't come into 
uh, my company or yeah. my video or whatever yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not that I unwelcome her. It's just yeah. that I don't want it to turn into a another ho- situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. But sometimes she like cameo yeah. and uh, uh, she helped me out like smaller things. Like, yeah. I consciously really avoid that okay. because I know how it's going to be like. Well, from, from the lessons that you have learned, <laughs> yes, sometimes yes, yes, you yes. draw lines yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. boundaries. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. So the next one is um, physical. Like you mentioned earlier on, she looks extremely young. Yes, yes, yes. What about, okay, I, I don't know whether this is true, but I do notice this amongst, you know, people who are younger, they mm. eat trash, lah, basically. They eat oh, yes. like fast food. And Speaking about that. Is it true? <laughs> it is true. Or do <laughs> She, every week, will eat like twice or three times like uh, fast food yeah like KFC <laughs> right she she loves KFC okay. she like Arnold's yeah. she will eat also fried chicken then her alternative mala oh like oh, very sinful eh. like yeah, yeah, yeah. for me I'm 34 la, so I eat yeah. lighter food like I yeah, eat yeah. porridge soup yeah. <laughs> and it's not exciting for her she eat mala whoa, oh. fried chicken uh, all that, that mala and fried yeah, chicken yeah, yeah sometimes okay. sometimes yeah. that combination so oh very heavy. yeah I do notice their the eating habits are is a bit. little bit <laughs> more snackish and uh, sinful yeah, yeah it's it's whatever you're craving yeah, yeah. instant gratification like they, they don't have like the after effects they like don't? If, Are you if sure? I eat, if I eat like fried chicken or mala, I will feel like, oh, very gelat or very, very bloated. Yeah, I feel very bloated. Uh, and yeah, but they don't have I worry for your bathroom after that. Yes, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? So, it, it will just change when you grow older. It will yeah. evolve slowly because I think your metabolism is so high Yeah, yeah, at that correct. Point. Yeah. <laughs> and then maybe, and it, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> affect them. a certain man. age, you're see, like, you, okay. you eat like that, but you're still so small. So, wait, then when you guys go out, yeah. like, how do you decide on what to eat? This is totally off topic. Oh, okay. So, uh, kind of related. Initially, she was a foodie. So oh, okay. she can get by with fried chicken every day, nasi lemak every day, or, 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 or mala every day. Yeah. She really get Easy by. Easy She goes yeah. through the same yeah, routine. Yeah, the same, same routine. So, yeah. But uh, she did, she's dating the food king now, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So we go to <laughs> a lot of... Uh, Try different things. Yeah, then yeah. she become a foodie. Oh. But still, you can see the... Trashy roots, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The trashy the roots. The trashy roots, like I, I like. I said, hey, I gotta bring you to this place. Like, wow, really, very, very good. And I said, huh, but I want eat KFC. Yeah, I was just like, huh. If I say let's go to this place to eat, and then she says she wants to eat KFC, we compromise. We eat KFC. Huh? Yeah, that's compromise. Okay, <laughs> I see. We compromise. Wise man, very yeah, 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 wise yeah. man. I choose life. I choose <laughs> you, life. Yeah, you choose yeah, happiness. Yeah. Yeah, I choose happiness. <laughs> and life. Yeah. Okay. Well, that you know, this was that was a good point because I think um, we don't really address that when it comes to the age gap, right? Yeah, like yeah, we don't realize, hey, that could be an indication. Yeah, that could be a, I think I think one of the most interesting uh, when it comes to a large age gap, right? Yeah. Right? is pop culture. To me, ah, it's, okay, yes, yes. to me, it's very important. Uh. To me, it's very important because I'm uh, such a big movie and show guy. Okay. So, uh, like, like for example, the other day, we were talking about, say, Edward Scissor's hand. Like, okay, uh, uh, okay. Something yeah. like that, right? She has no clue what No, when, when it popped out, right? No, she watched before with oh, me. Okay. okay. But the thing is, when it popped out, right, her impression was, oh, from Death Note. Uh. <laughs> that, oh my that, gosh, that is like, eh? no. Uh, or, or sometimes when a famous actor like George Clooney, right? okay. then when Paul, uh, she will just say, oh, the one Gerard Butler. Oh, then no. Was, oh, no. <laughs> like, Wait, okay, but, but she tries. Uh, yeah, but she tries. She tries. She tries. Uh, no, no, I totally agree. So yeah, yeah, yeah. between me and my partner as well, like, you know, every time we listen to music, ah, or, yes. that's uh, definitely the number one thing. Right, like, right, you know, right. his favorite song is like Vanilla Ice. Right, I mean, right. it's Ice Ice Baby. Oh, wow. That's, the, that's 70s. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn. <laughs> exactly. And he can like spit out all the lyrics, everything. Oh. You know? And like <laughs> me, I'm doing like Wet Ass Pussy by Cardi ah, B. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay, okay. Like, <laughs> I'm not sure if to bleed that out, but, <laughs> but I'm like rapping Cardi B in right, right, right. karaoke and he's yeah, doing yeah. Vanilla Ice. You know yeah. what I mean? This oh, is like the difference. Her song taste, her song taste, uh, she's a very big Taylor Swift fan. Okay. Uh, then okay. she also like Blackpink. Right? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So that's all. We compromise. We just listen it, to those. To them, vintage. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. to them, vintage music could be like Justin Bieber's. Uh, yeah, that, those album. are already, That's those already, are already vintage. vintage already. Oh yeah, my yeah, gosh, yeah. can you imagine yeah. that? I think yeah. that, you know, actually this whole difference in pop culture, music, movies, is quite a conversation, you yeah. know, starter. And it's quite funny, to be honest. Like, we yeah. don't get upset with each other about it. Yeah, we yeah. just, like, educate each yeah, other yeah. about it and it ends up to be quite entertaining, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Moving forward, I'm sure you're thinking of the future. Of for course, example, of course, yeah. You know, like, getting married, having kids, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. 
Does that ever concern or worry you that, oh, when we decide to finally get married and have kids, I'll be of a certain age? Mm. Or like, will I be too of too much of an old dad, that kind of thing. Have you had these conversations with her? Uh, yes, of course. Okay. Uh, every day. I think that's, that, that's one of her most important things because... She wants to be a mom? She used to be one to mm. be a mom yeah. until we met yeah. a bunch of like really horrible kids. And then she, oh. she got scared. She got scared. I see. She, she got scared and she think like, what if her child becomes like that? For me, to be honest, I don't really want to have kids. Not because I okay. hate kids. More I feel like it's very... I love my kid so much that I think it's very cruel to bring him or her into this very judgmental society over. I, I've been through it and I don't wish it upon them. Yeah. So I, I don't know if it's a good idea to bring them into this right. existence. La. I feel like to exist is to suffer yeah. some way oh, or another. No. La. They are to, to me, la. I mean, my, my, my life hasn't been very smooth sailing. So I feel like uh, might not uh, be a good idea to have kids. Right. And I felt like I already lost a lot of my years to unhappiness. So I want to have my freedom and time to live the rest of my life. Yeah. I don't want to be tied down yeah. by, by that. Yeah. So that's my thoughts. Mm. Yeah. For marriage, yeah, it's a top we just attended a wedding and she she will keep asking me when? When is it my time? Oh, it's, also, it's the wedding effect. Yeah, yeah, when you attend yeah, someone's yeah. wedding. When is it my time? When is it my time? Everyone's suddenly <laughs> like in Everybody the mood. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I I don't like to put a time on it. Yeah. I think when we are ready, we are ready. Yeah. It's, by Agreed. no time, la. but I think it will look nice when I'm 40 and she's 29. Can she wait that long? I don't know. I, I, I mean, this is the first time she's hearing it, by the way. Uh, I did <laughs> tell her like, I really want some time to really sort out all my things first. And la. work on yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So I think that is the latest I will give her. La. I okay. mean, if I can sort out my things earlier, then it will be ready soon. La. Okay. Earlier. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But things are looking good. Uh, things are looking uphill. So, uh, if it maintains its uh, trajectory, then yeah. yeah, probably we could uh, do it much Get earlier. Yeah. yeah, much earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I completely agree with you because, you know, sometimes we talk about it as yeah. well. And because of our larger age right. gap and uh, and the stuff that we talk about, I also worry sometimes like, oh, by right. the time I'm ready to right. have a kid, which is not now, not, right, right, not right. now, maybe yeah. in a few years, yeah. he might be a much older dad, mm, like for mm, example, mm, when our kid grows up, you mm, know, mm. We, we do worry about this. I, at least I, I mm, think mm. about it. But what gives me comfort is that he takes very good care of his health. You know, mm. he's very, he's very healthy. He eats well. Okay, he la. exercises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's very it's focused. Just a number. He, yeah, <laughs> does meditation yeah. or that kind of stuff. That and all that keeps him very young in right, that right, sense. Right, right. So I try not to worry about it. Right, it's right. just that there are some of my friends around me, guys. Mm that constantly say things like, I don't want to be an old dad, you know, I must mm. get married. But so then then also that makes me feel like, oh man, like, am I? I mean, th those yeah. are their parameters. I know. Let them yeah, be yeah, their yeah. Their parameters. La. I think this this one is my dear friend, Aiken Like, yeah. he always say, <laughs> by whose standards, by whose parameters, yeah, why must I yeah. get married? Why must I get exactly, married? Exactly, exactly. Like, I do it when I'm ready. So, I agree. Yeah, you do it when you're ready. Don't, you don't have to live by other people's rules. La. So that's what I personally think. But do you want to have kids? So one, two. <laughs> I, I want to have the option to have kids. Okay. I definitely want to have the option to have okay. kids. Um, I'm from a family of, I'm only child. Mm -mm -mm. I don't mind having just one kid. Mm -mm. That's totally fine mm -mm. because, you know, I think that, yes, while I talked to myself a lot when I was younger, mm. it is fine. <laughs> like I grew up okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you know, and I think also financially, I also have to think he has other financial commitments, mm -mm -mm. you know, from his previous experiences, mm -mm. family and stuff mm -mm. like that. So we also have a lot to unpack and, right. and talk yeah. about. But he definitely is open to mm -mm -mm. it still. Mm -mm. And it would be nice to build a family, right? Yeah. Like when the time is right. Yes, yes, yes. So when the time is right. Yes, yeah, when the exactly. Time is right. When the time is right. And it's when your time is right. Yeah, yeah. 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 That would be the best, right? Correct. That would be ideal. But yeah. I also worry about the morbid things. Like just by looking at age alone, he's going to die first. Oh, uh, yes. Like, I don't know how that, I'm just going to say this out loud, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. It's if, a fact. It's a truth. Touch wood, but yeah. like if nothing untoward happens, yeah, like illnesses then, or accidents, whatever, just by looking at the age, yeah. he's going to go first, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that sometimes bugs me. Every time we talk about this, uh, you think about it too? No, like uh, my, my girlfriend, she'll cry. So, oh, no. so I cannot talk about it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, because, I don't know, it saddens her because she feels like, uh, she feels like, uh, what is she going to do at the yeah. age? Then she's all alone. And then, uh, what, what, what does she have to live for? 
So it's like, it's, it's a very sad topic for it her. Is, but I is. feel like it's an inevitable truth. It Especially, is. that's why she's very concerned about my health. Yeah. She, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Super concerned. She's like uh, forcing me to take vitamins, eat yeah. my medication. Uh, the only arguments we ever had uh, yeah. is when I don't go see doctor or don't go my yearly checkup. Uh. She was she were really angry and quarrel. Yeah. And then she will start crying. Okay. <laughs> so like, that, that's like you it's, it's, it's a big issue. She really don't want me to die that much earlier than her. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I cannot believe we're talking about this. Yeah, like, but I mean, I mean, it, I mean, I, I, I think it's a it's a fact. Yeah. yeah. Death escapes no one. No one escapes death on us. So yeah. yeah, it's yeah. inevitable. La. So it is sad to think about it. It is. Yeah, but no one likes to talk about death. I, sure. I feel like in the the quality of the time spent together, if it's very happy, then that's all it matters. It yeah. doesn't mean a lot of years means good. Yeah, you gotta so, live life in the moment yeah, and right. enjoy it. I mean, some people can be is. like freaking married 40, 50 years together and then even die together. But if they they spend a the whole life arguing and not being happy, then... Then what's that number yeah, Then for, I'd rather right? spend yeah. like five very good years yeah. and then just die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then that's even better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, he's very candid and casual about it. Yeah, I, I love I it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so morbid stuff aside, yes. which I'm glad we got out of the way because, yeah. you know, it is... It, these are inevitable conversations that I we yes, will yes, have yes, like with yeah. our partners. All right, right? Correct. Do you think that there is a double standard when it comes to a older guy dating a much younger girl versus the other way around? Like a much older girl dating a much the younger stigma girl. is the same one. It's the they, same oh, yeah, sugar think? mommy, sugar daddy, okay. sugar mommy, sugar daddy. But so, yeah. Uh, I, I I just think it's a very toxic narrative. Yeah. Like, like when when people don't actually know or understand the whole context of it. Yeah. Yeah. So my own business. Yeah. Just, just at the end of the yeah day. La, I mean, you, you worry about your own relationship and your life. Don't come and worry about mine. Now, I'm just going to ask you real quickly before we wrap things up. Yep. What is the power balance like in your current relationship? Like, is there <laughs> okay, someone okay. who wears the pants more? Is it even? Is it equal or <laughs> okay, what? To, to be honest, right, in my previous marriage, yeah. I was the beta. She okay, was the alpha. alpha yeah. Right. In this uh, relationship, right, we are both the beta. Oh! <laughs> no, no, like, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Like, I got a helper that live with me. Okay. And three of us, right, it's like beta. Oh. We will just apologize to each other every day. <laughs> like, this just goes wrong. I think Majong like, was uh, going no, on. Like, like really, like really. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Like, what? Like, oh my like, God. So it's a, a lot of uh, giving way, giving way. It's like very... It's like, let, let the person win, let the person win. Uh, yeah. So you're better together. Yeah, we are, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh we, are, we really Sorry. all better together. So it's like, it, I, but okay, I think it, it, it still works out. Like. If you want to say who's slightly uh, more decisive, then it will be it will be me. Like. Okay. Because okay. I, I, I guess with more life experience, yeah. so she will turn to me for advices and stuff. But I think no matter how mature or old a guy is, right? Behind closed doors in private uh, oh. setting, right? They're still a child. Uh. I think I can speak for a lot of guys that appear very manly at Alpha. Oh, no. Go home, right? Yeah. It's, behind closed doors, it's just a child, or like, oh. or watching anime, playing game, or I don't right, know, like, right, like, right. like, it's not, 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 not always that. Like, uh, so for me, it's the same, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and I guess in some ways, it doesn't always have to be. Uh, you know, one is more correct, correct. alpha than the other. It doesn't have it to could, be that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I like this all beta. Dynamic. Yeah, all beta <laughs> dynamic. Uh. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. It's just very That's so cute. nice, law, like very considerate for yes. everybody. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on this show Thank and you. really getting so in depth yes. into all these questions. I hope you're less nervous. No, now. no, yeah. I, I, I forgot about it. I forgot, oh, you forgot about yeah, it. I forgot about it. I forgot about the camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you forgot about the You're, you're a good conversationalist yeah. for, uh, oh, thank you, thank for you, a single child. Oh, thank you. Yes. I had a lot of practice in front of a mirror when I was young. So that's probably. <laughs> where it came from. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but okay, before we wrap things up, any last words you want to share with our audience okay, um, uh, you know, about navigating large age gaps? If you are in a large age relationship, I think uh, your parameters are set by yourself. You only have to live by your own uh, happiness and standards. Don't bo be bothered what other people think. That's the key to happiness. Lah. You really just don't be bothered about what other people think. They are not always thinking about you. Uh, and if you are thinking about what other people think of you, they are not. So don't, 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 don't bother. Well, that yeah. was a trip right yeah. there. If you're thinking about what other people are thinking of you, yeah. they're they are not, they are, not. They are not thinking about so, you. Okay. Because how often are you thinking about others? I uh, mean, uh, in no, what no, capacity? No, like, no, okay, <laughs> even if it's like a go gossip, you read a oh, gossip news or what. It comes and goes. Like, it that's it, what it just goes. That be, yeah. You are more concerned about what's going on in your life. Uh. 
Most you people are be, like that. Basically, yeah. you can't be fixated. Yeah, on, you won't like, be. Yeah. yeah, people will, will forget on. Like yeah. so, don't 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 be bothered. Just be happy. Yeah. be happy by your own parameters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And eat chicken and mala whenever you want. Yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't 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 care what other people yeah. people say. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ryan, for joining us. Yeah. I have thank a you, fantastic thank you so much. time chatting. Thank you, so much. thank you so much for being so candid as well. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Leave a comment below. Yes. And also subscribe to my channel. Yes. Uh, yes. And also watch Let's Talk About Health if you want to know more uh, yes. about uh, testosterone deficiency oh, yes, syndrome. Yes, 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 yes. It's a real issue, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>